Hello, I am Rydian, and this is Prince of Persia, Sands of Time. Most people think time is like a river that flows swift and sure in one direction, but I have seen the face of time, and I can tell you, they are wrong. Time is an ocean in a storm. You may wonder who I am and why I say this. Sit down, and I will tell you a tale like none that you have ever heard. Know first that I am the son of Sharam, a mighty king of Persia. On our way to Azad with a small company of men, we passed through India. <coughs> where the promise of honor and glory tempted my father into a grievous error. I think I felt regret as I gazed upon the destruction we had wrought, or at least humility at the speed with which a world can be transformed from a good world into a hell. If you think so, you are mistaken. For in that moment I thought of one thing only, the honor and glory I would bring my father by fighting like a warrior in my first battle. And here we are. Wait a minute, you might ask. Didn't we just watch Forgotten Sands? Well, yeah, we did. And don't get me wrong, Forgotten Sands is a good game, but... But Sands of Time? This game is legendary. It's quite possibly one of my favorite single-player games of all time. So, I was too tempted to not actually play this. Here we go. This is the Prince. Son of King Sharaman. The same guy as uh, we had in uh, Forgotten Sands, but this is before. Check out that slow-mo jump. First time you do a cool move in this game, usually. That slows down. Yeah, he's pretty acrobatic already. But he is like a warrior or something. First person camera. Mode. So yeah. This game I've played a bunch of times, so I do know it quite well. Of course, that's not going to mean I'm going to fuck up at a couple of puzzles, because, well, it was a while ago. However, it's going to be awesome, because this game is awesome. Combat. Combat this game is very much based on acrobatics. Um, it's not the strongest part of the game. But it's still pretty cool. Um, can we... There we go, yeah. Check that out. Super stab. Is he dead? He's, 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 yeah, he is dead. Let's put away the sword. The music in this game is amazing, too. Basically, everything about this game is great. So, unlike... Um, Forgotten Sands, this is like, this is told as a story, told to someone, we don't know who yet. So this is why uh, Prince started telling us, do you think I felt destruction? Blah, blah, blah. Voiced by the same guy, or rather I should say that Forgotten Sands is voiced by the same guy as this one. You can tell he's a bit younger, this is new, this is his first real adventure. He's a cool dude, he's a nice dude bit arrogant, but then he is a prince. Many men that day sought to win honor and glory on the battlefield, that their king might say to them, as Khosrow said to Rustam, you are the noblest of my warriors. 
From the moment my sword tasted blood, I knew this would not be my way. I would win my father's praise, not by killing, but by being the first to find the Maharaja's treasure vault and the wonders within. So already we have a bit of character on the prince. Uh, he's not really want to be a bloodthirsty warrior to kill everyone. But he does want to gain honor and glory, which is what he's after with, to impress his father. So that's why he's going to go for the uh, treasure chamber first. So this is going to be part of how I play a little bit. If, if I can skip combat, uh, I might, because honestly, you don't really gain a lot from it. Um, there's no experience in this game or anything, so... Also, these guys seem like nice enough fellows. I don't necessarily need to kill them. So I'm just going to be quick about it. And be pro about it. A little bit of wall run. All the way up here. Then we can... Actually, we're just supposed to drop down, aren't we? Ah, that's fine. We just wall run for fun. Funsies. See now, they're gonna... Oh, I'm gonna totally fight you, except no. I'm just gonna run right past them. Because, you know... Why bother drawing blood when it's unnecessary? Man. These catapults are really ruining things. So right now we're in the Kingdom of India. Uh, we come from uh, Sharaman. We're on our way to Assad. So, three different kingdoms. And we're here to pick up some treasure. That creepy vizier dude in the introduction <laughs> cutscene has basically betrayed his country. And uh, we're using him to get inside. Um, in this game, you get health from water. So I, I don't know if I would really drink from this water specifically, but hey, health is health. More guards. But that's fine. We're just gonna mostly ignore him. Likely there's gonna be some soldiers from my father's army anyway to get, take care of them. I'm just gonna do this. Bye bye guys. See now they don't have to worry, they don't have to die. And I'll just get on my way. Catapults everywhere. Combat theme. Chillaxis. Prince of Persia is kind of special for me because it was most likely the first game I ever played. The very original one, uh, Prince of Persia 1, so to speak, which uh, came out in 1989. I remember playing it when I was like 6 or 7 years old. Uh, I was born... Shall I continue my story from here the next time we're interrupted? This is nice, by the way. He actually asks me, uh, in a story-wise. I'm gonna save. Done. I'll start the story from here next time. I was born in 1984, so I must have been around... Well, technically, well, the game came out at 5. I don't think I... When I was 5, I don't think I ever played it until I was a bit older. But... That was pretty much my first real game, and I remember how awesome it was to play those 13 floors and fighting all kinds of guards and stuff. I remember I was... me and my brother used to like play at the and keyboard at the same lay, time. Just out of reach. The dagger of time. There was a treasure I could carry with pride as a trophy of our victory. If I could only get there. First big puzzle room. Anyway, as I was saying, me and my brother used to play uh, on the same keyboard. So I was doing the movement and the controlling, and he was the one holding down the shift button to run or to slash with the sword while I was going to block. It was pretty amazing. It was actually one of the games uh, my father played as well. Uh, he used to play games when I was a kid. He doesn't play you know, much anymore. I think it's a bit too complicated now, but it was fun back then. So Prince of Persia has always been kind of special for me. And when this came came out, this one, Sands of Time, in 2003, I, um, let's see, yeah, there we go. I got it for the PlayStation 2, and uh, I, I've played it many times since then, and I absolutely loved it. This is what made me interested in the series in the first place. And I played, like I said, I've I, I played Sands of Time, Warrior Within, Two Thrones, 
And, well, you saw I played a bit of, uh, of Forgotten Sands as well. And don't get me wrong, Forgotten Sands is good, but this is so much better, so I just felt like playing this instead. So, if there's a cup, if any one of you guys are, like, sad that I'm not play playing Forgotten Sands at the moment, well, I'm sorry. I might do it in the future, but, um, for now, it's Sands of Time. I feel like I know this game much better, I have so much more to say about it, and, uh, it just makes for, for better videos. So we're starting the uh, little um, platforming here. We already have a bit of traps going on. Uh, we're, of course, we're in, still in India, so it makes sense that there's traps already trying to kill people because we are invading them. Oh, why did I do that? That's a good question. And I'm dead. But no, I did that no, for a reason. That's not what happened. I jumped over the broken bridge. I took a running jump and cleared it. Let me begin again. See how cool is that? <laughs> when you die, the prince is like, wait, hold on. That's not exactly what happened, actually. Um, there was a little... Hold on, I'll, let me tell it again. So, <laughs> it's it's like he's still telling the story. And, um, oh boy. To whoever it is he's actually talking to. Which we'll find out eventually, of course. But it gives a nice little touch to the, you know, when you die or when you fail. It's like, he's telling a story, right? Would he tell a story or a fail? Well, <laughs> at a certain point, you begin to question, like, how his storytelling skills are. Because imagine him telling the story, going around, Yeah, and then I fought a sword, and then I fell down, and I died! Nah, just kidding, I didn't die, actually. But then I did this, and then, oh, and then I died. No, I didn't actually die. He would get old after a while. There we go. See, what this game does really well is that it generally you go into a room, it then gives you a wide angle, showing you where you need to go, what you need to do, and then you have to just figure it out on your own. Right now we're just going to jump further down. Drink a little water. Oh, we're full health, let's not drink a little water. Let's see, we have first person view, we have the dagger up there, where we need to go. Basically all platforming now, there's no enemies. Which is perfectly fine with me. This is the game strength after all. Up we go. Ah, we need to do the wall jump. That's some impressive stuff. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Time to get out. Now. The power to rewind time. This is what makes this game what it is, pretty much. I mentioned this early on in the Forgotten Sands playthrough, but um, this is what makes the game's platforming so much better than pretty much all other games. If you screw up, you can just rewind. Ah, oh, camera is a bit angry at me. I'm trying to move it over there. It's fine. Yeah, the, the camera acts as a physical object in the world, so if I try to slam the camera into somewhere where it can't, it just refuses to. Which is kind of weird. But don't worry about it. It's good enough. <laughs> 